At a school set up by American women in Japan, young Japanese wives of American soldiers learn how an American housewife goes about her duties. It's not that one system is better than the other, but there are areas of great difference between the Japanese and the American way of baby tending, cooking, and many other activities. These young Japanese brides will soon be going to the United States with their husbands, and they want to learn the customs and the manners of their new home. In the steady forging of friendship between the two peoples, the Japanese and Americans have done more than sample each other's cultures. They have participated together in many activities. Their youth have met on the field of sports, a good proving ground for any friendship. Swimming meets are a particular favorite, drawing great crowds of spectators, Americans and Japanese alike. Traditionally, both nations produce top swimmers, and they delight in bringing their best representatives together to play aquatic games. or to compete in distance swimming, each with his own distinctive style. Competition in sports, in itself, is not perhaps a solid enough base upon which a structure of international friendship can be built, but it helps. The military occupation of Japan ended on April 28, 1952, after a peace treaty between the two countries was signed at San Francisco. American troops are still in Japan today as defense troops, training instead of performing occupation duties. We recognize the defense of Japan as our first military responsibility in the Far East. And by mutual agreement between the Japanese and American government, our troops will remain in Japan to provide her with the security she needs. Japan lies perilously close to both Russia and communist China. And the American troops in Japan are closer than any other forces to the Iron Curtain which hides Soviet ambition. So, in a very real sense, these troops are poised on the front lines of the free world's defenses. For there is little doubt that Japan figures prominently in long-range Soviet plans. Through constant training and maneuver, these troops prepare for any sudden move, any eventuality. For the harsh truth today is that strength and vigilance are the price of freedom. The free world has learned that, and Japan has recognized it too and is moving steadily toward the day when she will be strong enough to defend herself against aggression. Japan has a national security force of 110,000 men, made up of police and constabulary troops who were trained during the occupation. This force will be expanded in the future and with American help equipped with heavy weapons. Picking her way carefully through the mistakes of recent history, avoiding the excesses that led once to catastrophe, Japan is taking on the responsibilities that go with freedom. Japan's historic and colorful past is important and meaningful to the Japanese nation today, for out of that past has come the folklore, the traditions and beliefs which mold a national character. Japan's period of association with the West has been relatively short as history goes. Here, American friends of Japan help the Japanese people celebrate the anniversary of the opening of one of the nation's major ports to Western ships less than a century ago. That century of contact with the Western world has been a turbulent one for Japan. It has brought her great strength, but it has also brought great defeat.
and violent change to many of the symbols and values she lived by. But out of it all, there is emerging today a new Japan, with traditions still rooted in its national past, but with its future tied to the fortunes of the West. A strong Japan in which the free world sees the hope of stability and peace in the Orient. Our ties of friendship with Japan are strong. In this fact lies part of our strength and much of our hope for peace. This is Sergeant Stuart Queen inviting you to be with us on this same channel next week for another look at the big picture, the United States Army in action. The Big Picture is a weekly television report to the nation on the activities of the Army at home and overseas. Produced by the Signal Corps Pictorial Center. Presented by the U.S. Army in cooperation with this station. You can be an important part of the big picture. You can proudly serve with the best equipped, the best trained, the best fighting team in the world today, the United States Army.